Okay, Ray, we have our Victorian wall that's gonna be over here. So this is gonna have the most amount of detail, the most ornate. Talk us through what we're gonna be doing here. We're gonna be putting crown up top, coming down probably about five inches with a piece of base cap and run across. And we're gonna to go to a judge's panel, which is a larger judge's panel, which is not your standard, but it's gonna have rosettes on four corners with a notch and casing that's fluted with rosettes on the top also. Very nice. This is gonna look really ornate and very Victorian, I think, on this wall. So let's see how it turns out. Walk us through what we did here with the judges' panels with the little rosette accents. They took the width of the wall from the door to the other wall, divided it by two, made the equal spaces on the middle and both ends, took half the distance of the rosette and made the gap between to trace around it to give it that style and that look. So moving up to the top of the wall, we have a very interesting build up, a crown build up here where we're using 1868 crown and a 163 base cap with a two and a half inch gap. Explain the process of this. Well, what they did was they got the distance from the ceiling down, made sure that the crown was sitting correctly. Then they measured down two and a half inches to get that gap between it to make it all blend together and then put from the two and a half inches down to the base cap and that way it'll blend together. Yeah, the real key factor here is we're gonna paint this. And when it's all painted, it looks like one piece. It's a beautiful build-up. 